do they look familiar? These two became Singapore's most hated women within the span of a few days. Biao Tan and Pun Chu Yok, or more well known as the Batch Lady, have become spectacles of Singapore when videos of them went viral. Not for good reasons, but because they were being a public nuisance. Biao Tan was caught harassing Malays on the MRT. And the Batch Lady was caught questioning safe distancing ambassadors when she was not wearing a mask. You have no badge, why are you asking to do something? Netizens were quick to mock them online. But it got worse. Netizens started invading their privacy. They started filming Beltan secretly and sharing it to social media sites. A personal YouTube channel, home address, and even job information was leaked to the public, resulting in Beltan losing her livelihood as a realtor. Unseen personal photos of the bad lady started appearing online too. Singaporeans grew obsessed with cancelling them and hating on them without knowing their backstory. You know nothing. Until some netizens started noticing signs of mental illness with Belle. Even after blowing up, she continued to harass people. Now with presentation slides prepared to explain herself, Continually being harassed and taken videos of, it seemed like Beltan was trying to defend herself. Some netizens started coming to her aid. In the batch lady's case, a estranged father came out to speak about her situation. He told Shinmin Daily News that his daughter was kind and charitable. He suspected that she had been cheated on by someone and suffered emotional trauma, making her temperament change. Why are we so quick to judge and hate without knowing the full picture? The cancel culture has taken Singapore by storm in recent years. But ask yourself, how would you feel if it happened to you? What media shows us about people is just a fraction of their story. Instead of assuming and cancelling someone's identity based on certain incidents, let's practice being polite and kind. When doxing and cancel culture takes it too far and does not care to empathise with victims and their families, we should not be part of the problem. Instead, practice empathy.